So my name is Jack Murray. I'm a 15 year old elite level athlete. I play soccer. I'm originally from Canada, Nova Scotia, but for two years now, I've been playing in Portugal in the Portuguese first youth division. And what I'm gonna be talking about is bouncing back, becoming unconquerable and never letting any setback define you again. And why for me, this is really important, why I'm just, I decided to talk about it, because at least for us teen athletes, there are a lot of challenges that you're gonna have to face. Sometimes a coach won't believe in you. Sometimes you lose confidence in yourself. Sometimes you have an injury. And for me personally, I had an autoimmune disorder that severely affected my motor skills, which was really difficult to overcome. But for anyone, there are challenges, no matter what profession or what you do in life. And knowing how to bounce back from them is a really crucial skill to have. Because most people, when they go down, they stay down for a while and they don't know how to get back up. But with it, but with what I'm gonna be talking about today, a snapback routine, it's kind of like a yo-yo because a yo-yo, when you put it down, then it will come straight back up. And that's what it's like if you have a snapback routine in place. And it's definitely helped me personally. So firstly, I want to do, there are three main parts of the snapback routine. And I'm gonna start with the first one, which is perspective. And perspective is really powerful because we don't see the world we are, we don't see the world the way it is. We see the world the way we are because we all have our feelings, beliefs, and biases about everything. So obviously we're going to have different opinions about the world. And that's why I say that we, we go through life and it, we really only experience life the way we are. But what's great about that, even though it's weird, we can change our perspective into a perspective that helps you. So something that I always like to say to my clients is pretend you have a tray of five glasses in front of you and each of them has a different perspective. Kind of like a different prescription, right? And then if you can put them on, you can figure out which perspective is going to allow you and help you to push you and motivate you towards your goals. You can find the positive one that will help you. And that's really powerful that we can change our perspective. And there's a story that I wanted to tell really quickly. It's called the parable of the Chinese farmer, the white stallion. And basically what happens is this, this farmer has a horse and the horse runs away. And then all the villagers tell the farmer, oh, we're so sorry to hear that your horse has run away. And then the next day, the horse comes back with seven other wild horses. And then villagers congratulate the farmer. They're like, oh, congratulations. You should be, you're so lucky that you have all these new horses now. And then the next day, the, the farmer's son just, the farmer's son comes and tries to tame one of the horses and he falls off and breaks his leg. And then all the villagers come and say, oh, that's so unfortunate, we're so sorry. And the farmer says, maybe. And then the next day, the army comes to enlist people, but because the farmer's son's leg is broken, he can't go. And then the, and then the villagers come again and say, oh, it's, you're so lucky your son will stay with you. He doesn't have to go into the army. And the farmer just again says, maybe. And this story shows you that not everything you think is good and not everything you think is bad, but there's a lot we can do with perspective. Okay, and now number two. So this number two is self-belief, because even if we change our perspective, if we don't really feel like we can actually reach our goal, we won't be able to. And a big way we can combat this is through positive self-talk. And now I'm gonna show you a visual analogy that I hope will explain to, you, to help you see what I mean. So with, so let's say this is our life and then something happens and it gets a bit sh messed up. <laughs> And then, but positive self-talk is like this huge container of water. And what it does, if you're able to pour into it, what happens is that the water gets clearer and clearer and clearer and clearer. If I had more water, it would be more clear, but see, you can see that it's so much clearer. And that's what positive self-talk does because positive self-talk, it eliminates all those limiting beliefs about us and ourselves. And it's really powerful. Okay, and number three, resilience. Resilience is really powerful because with resilience, if you are just, a, if you are just a percentage of a fraction, if you're just a percentage of a fraction stronger than your competition, you will still win. And you can get through this if you're just a little bit more resilient than everyone else. Other people will give up and you can get past so much of your competition just by being resilient. And it's like JK Rowling, if she gave up on her story when 12 publishers turned her down, we would not know Harry Potter. We would, so many people would not fall in love with this amazing world that we have, the wizarding world. But w when she was accept but she kept going and then she was accepted. And now she's one of the biggest authors of our time. 
or there's a story called bamboo and this farmer wa waters the bamboo one year and nothing happens like then again he waters and takes care of it the second year nothing happens again in the third year he waters and takes care of it again but yet again nothing happens the fourth year same thing but then in the middle of the fifth year this bamboo grows up to 90 feet in six weeks and what's so powerful about that is that it shows you sometimes you need you you still need to do those even if it doesn't seem like you're making progress you're making roots you're making progress and then when the time comes you're going to explode so fast into what you want to be in and explode in what your dreams are and it's a really power powerful analogy because it shows you that even if results are coming aren't coming now then you're building underneath you're getting ready so you can explode into what you want here are the three steps it's a lot easier said than done but remember no's equals new opportunities and you do have the power to write your own story if i had more time i would have gone in more depth with each of them i know i'm a little bit over even now and i would have done a visualization with you guys but still the I really, I hope you guys enjoyed my speech and remember you are the storytellers of your life and you can bounce back from this setback.